Huh. Who would expect Madison or LeChuck's ship to be here by now? Oh my goodness, look at the damage. I've got to go and talk to Carla about organizing earthquake relief. You're not coming to the voodoo shop? Well, of course I want to, but this is a crisis. There'll be other damage. I have to help. Well, I'll want to hear all about it later. Right. Yeah. See you soon. I'm not leaving again without the secret of Monkey Island. Did you feel the earthquake? I was too busy running for my life. You saved the cookbook. Yes, I saved the cookbook. The ceiling was collapsing, the building was on fire, people running everywhere, and I saved the cookbook. Why? Excellent question. I can think of a hundred other things I'd rather have saved. My favorite 12-inch knife, my collection of rare spices, a painting of my father, a mop that I painstakingly crafted with my own hands, my cat. But in a crisis, you don't think. There isn't time. You just act. And by acting, you expose your inner self. Heroism and villainy are revealed in moments like these. Me? I saved the cookbook. You're welcome. (laughs) Are you done with the cookbook? I'd like it back. No, you can't take it! With my bar gone and no hope to repair it, this is all I have left! (laughs) What are you drinking? Soda with a twist of avocado. It might be a little fizzy for your grog palate. Oh, sounds exotic. Not done with my drink. (laughs) That was refreshing. Searching for the secret since before you were born! That's exactly my point! Finding the secret is a young pirate's game! Years of experience and me relentless drive will ensure the secret be mine! Only if you don't have a heart attack first! Ha! Last chance to give it up! Then we obliterate you! Get off my ocean! I'm impressed by your crosswind ramming technique. I'll have to add that to my book. My crew is quite skilled when given the right motivation. I'm still worried about Threepwood. He shows up in the most unexpected ways. We don't have to worry about Threepwood anymore. I left him broken and near death at the bottom of a cliff. His eye was pussing up and bone was protruding from his leg. Animals have probably already scattered his limbs from one end of the island to the other. So it's agreed. We stop fighting each other and... We join forces to find the secret. Agreed. No funny stuff. We split the secret. Teammates. Am I too late? Was LeChuck here? Did Madison come? Did they get it? Where's the secret? Yeah, I'll bet the secret of Monkey Island is in there. It just has to be. You've had it all this time. I possess little and much. To what are you referring? Don't play dumb with me. I have the map. The secret of Monkey Island is here. What is it you wish to know? It's in that big safe by the door, right? Yes. Where are the keys to the safe? I'd like to get it open as soon as possible. I am prevented from helping you with the keys. Uh, But there is one close by who knows. 
knows much. How do I find him? Her. And she will find you. How do you know that? She is outside the shop. Have LeChuck or Captain Madison been here? No. That's weird. They were way ahead of me. Sometimes it's better to have two enemies than one. But you should not waste time. I might have more questions for you later. I might have answers. But I make no promises. Found the secret. You are a spark among fallen leaves. Secret? What secret? I admit nothing. You can't hide that look in your eye. I know it well. I am Widerling Bones. Widey. Like you, the hunt for the secret consumes me. Like you, I know where the secret lies, but lack the means to open the safe. You must have many questions. How do I open the safe? Five locks, five keys. Golden keys. Hidden long ago. What do the golden keys look like? They're gold. It's just paint, but they look nice. Where can I find the golden keys? Most are found already. Got one myself. Old Mrs. Smith had one before she died, and Bella Fisher, too. Also, I heard one was found on Bermuda. That's only four. One more was supposed to be hidden on Terror Island. That one has never been found. Hang on, I'm writing all this down on my to-do list. This doesn't sound so hard. A lot of people don't come back from Terror Island. Also, Bella Fisher sank out at sea and nobody knows where. Took her key with her. Oh. Can I borrow the key you have, just to try it out? Not so fast, bright boy. Whitey Bones is not such an easy mark. You prove yourself. Get some skin in the game. Find me when you've got more keys than I do, and maybe I talk partnership. How come I never heard about any of this before? I'm kind of a secret of Monkey Island buff. You'd think I'd know about it. The clues were buried deep and clever. Only a few ever puzzled them out. And we keep ourselves to ourselves. See you around, Whitey. I've got keys to track down. Okay, bright boy. But you watch your step. There is a curse. The keys are protected by a terrible curse. Beware. No. I mean, yes, she did say that, but she was just being dramatic. Whitey likes to make a big exit. Well, one thing's for sure. I don't know how to get to either of those islands she mentioned. I'd better get a good sea map right away. Hey, Wally. Have you got a sea map of the local area? Can you jot down the locations of Terror Island and Bermuda? No problem. I'll also add a few extras. The ship tracking feature is going to blow your mind. It's a little trick I know. You need to be able to go the extra mile if you want to make it in the big time like me. Be careful. The last pirates I made a map to Terror Island for were never seen again. And Bermuda can chill you to the bone. Not many pirates want to head up there. Oh, and when you get to Scurvy Island, say hi to Elaine for me. Thanks, Wally. And sorry about blowing you up that one time. Hmm. Hi. Bright boy. How was your search? You spend a lot of time looking out your window. I'll watch the locksmith. Maybe somebody comes with a golden key someday, you know? Anything is possible. I'll keep an eye on the fish shop, too. There is a mystery here. A lot of fish, 
but no boat. Did you mean what you said about a curse? You still gonna look for the keys if it's true? Of course. Then it does not matter. See you around, Whitey. Most likely. Welcome to the God's Wallop. Thanks. We feature the freshest fish on the block, and the freshest company mm. as well. Whether you're here to buy or just pass the time, we don't mind. Though, of course, we do prefer it if you make a purchase. Didn't you guys used to be the pirate leaders? It's me, Gabber Streetwood. Ah, I thought when we spotted him skulking around town that he looked passing familiar. The shop seems nice. If by nice, you mean a glorious cathedral to the fine art of fishing, then I quite agree. Have a look around, why don't ya? They have hagfish, toadfish, slimehead, bloater, and lump sucker. What's that flag with all the holes in it? Mm. Quite proud of that. We caught it up in a fishing net one day. Tis one of the signature flags of Bella Fisher herself. Bella Fisher? That was Bella Fisher's flag? That's what I said, yes. Is the flag for sale? Bite your tongue. That's property of the chums. Shh. With the who? No one. It's too late. The bait's out of the bag. We might as well tell him. The Chums is by way of being a semi-secret society of anglers. Mostly we tell stories. Aye, stories about fish. Can I join the Chums? Well... Please? Have you got any good fish stories? Yeah. One time, I was swallowed by a manatee. No one knows what a manatee is. Trust me, make it a whale. It'll be better. Okay. Take this fishing lure. Other chums will have these too, on their clothes or displayed somewhere. Go out and find them. Show them your lure and tell them your story. They'll give you advice. Learn all you can. Then come back here and tell us your story again. You could start with that young pirate that hangs around at the scum bar. Don't tell him where to start. He's supposed to look for the lures. I think I'll browse today's catch. You'll find none better. Are the blowfish for sale? No, indeed. These are for personal use. They're excellent for burping contests. Care to join us? Don't mind if I do. Winner gets to keep the blowfish. Hi, <laughs> well done. I hereby declare this a draw. still here. The bar is half collapsed and slightly on fire. Not done with my drink. <laughs> Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? One time. My ship was swallowed by a whale. You know, what your story needs, it's a part to set the stage. To let us know what's going on and who the people are. It should come at the beginning, like a, um... A beginning? Like a beginning, exactly. Like, I was on the deck of a burning Spanish galleon with horse face and itchy jaw. And then all of a sudden, and then you take it from there. Want to give it a try? Okay. The pirate hunter Morgan Lafley had my first mate at sword point. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a whale. Yeah, that's the way. 
Obviously, you're new at this, but don't worry. Other chums can show you more of the ropes. Okay. Not done with my drink. I'm closer than ever to finding the secret of Monkey Island. I'm not any closer to caring about it. That was refreshing. Not done with my drink. Hello. That was refreshing. Hey, how about a burping contest? <laughs> Always! Winner keeps the blowfish. an absolute ripper! I hereby declare you the winner! The blowfish is yours! Welcome back. Hi there. Oh, are you in the chums? If I were, would I tell you? Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? The pirate hunter Morgan Lafley had my first mate at Sword Point. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a whale. Hmm. But then what? A key point of every fish story is a dramatic ending. Did you land the fish? Did it get away? Did someone get married or killed or both? People want to know how things turn out. Oh, that makes sense. Want to give it a try? Okay. The pirate hunter Morgan Lafley had my first mate at Sword Point. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a whale. And then we escaped through the digestive system, ship and all. I think you've got a lock on it. Seems like you've got a few keys on your ring. Now talk to some other chums to round out the set. I'll do that. Hello again. Would your mother perhaps have been known as Old Mrs. Smith? Whitey Bones said something about an Old Mrs. Smith. Well, I didn't call her that. But I suppose some people did, mainly when she was older. Have you heard of the Golden Keys? Sure. My mother had one of them. Had? She left it to me in her will. I will pay you any amount of money you like for your mother's key. When my mother died, her personal possessions went into probate with the court. When they came out of probate, I was still too devastated to claim them. As you can see from this letter the court sent, they and the key have been destroyed. Well, this is an unexpected wrinkle. I think I'll browse around a bit. Try not to touch anything. Hey, Guybrush! It's been reduced to rubble. Otis, Otis, Otis. What are we gonna do with you? I didn't do anything this time. I was framed. Where's Stan? Did they let him go? No. Stan got sentenced to a hard time. Did you know he was representing himself? I've heard that's unwise. They took him to the ice quarry on Bermuda. What did you do to get arrested this time? Nothing! I was just standing there minding my own business, applying for earthquake relief. Did you know you're only allowed to do that once? There is no justice. I'd like you to tell the museum curator about our jailbreak all those years ago. The one with the mugs of grog. He doesn't seem to have the story quite right. 
Of course, the truth is important. When I am free again, I will pay him a visit. Well, I don't see that happening anytime soon. Let's visit again soon. Have your people call my people. Thanks, Carla. Good luck. Guybrush. Hi. I want to hear all about the secret, but I've got to go back to Scurvy Island right now. Let's talk later. Okay. Have you seen the line of people outside? Those are citizens who were affected by the quake. But there isn't any money in the coffers to support the relief effort. I'm basically handing out IOUs. Can I get in on some of that sweet, sweet disaster relief? I already told you there's no money. I'm handing out IOUs. I'll take what I can get. Fine. It's not real money anyway. I have to list a purpose, so... What's it for? I want to rebuild local businesses. I'm sure you'll have public support on that one. This is just a promise from the town to back your relief project at a later date. Don't get too excited. say if I told you the governor authorized funds for the rebuilding of the scum bar at an unspecified future date. She did? That's fantastic. I'll have a sunken area that catches grog spills for recycling and a medical triage room. Excuse me, lots to plan. Okay, if I take this cookbook back now? Sure, sure, of course. Looks like you tried to cook the book instead of the recipe. Oh well, I should be thankful I'm getting it back at all. Next time you can just put it in the bookshelf yourself. Can I borrow this book? Fine, fine. Thanks. I won't let you down. I'll definitely return this. Stan's building collapsed! This place looks like an earthquake hit it. There's a torn picture in here. This half shows Stan himself. This must be that old toothbrush Stan wanted. Tell me about this flag. Oh, it's a super valuable artifact I recently acquired. One of Bella Fisher's original pirate flags. One of only three known to exist. Whoa! That's not supposed to be unlocked. I'd better fold this and put it in storage. Then I can figure out what's wrong with the lock. Looking good. I like things neat. You 
found it like this? It was over 200 years old. It's the only one on the island. An irreplaceable natural resource. What are we supposed to do with it now? Make do things? How many people besides yourself even know the location of this tree? Not many at all. I did tell someone about it just recently, but... But what? Who was it? Well, odd coincidence. Won't budge. It's strong magic. I can still get it open with a spell, but I need a good power spot. It beats trying to find the keys. We don't even know where to start. It could take forever. Only a fool would do that. I know an excellent place for power spells, but it's not on this island. No problem. We can craft it there and then come back here. We'll take my ship. I'll stay here to keep an eye on the safe. And steal the secret yourself? I don't think so. Stop it! <laughs> Clearly, no one trusts anyone to stay behind. We'll all go together. What if someone else finds out the thing is here? The only map is lost somewhere on Monkey Island. Probably eaten by a wild boar by now. The map maker knows it's here. I've got a bone to pick with him anyway. I'm thinking maybe one of the large ones in the leg. Ah, Scurvy Island. This is where Elaine's been growing all the limes for the Marley Foundation Scurvy Project. She's probably back here by now. I can't wait to see her. It says the Marley Foundation Scurvy Treatment and Prevention League, or STAPL, welcomes you to Scurvy Island, 1.5 miles to STAPL headquarters. Elaine, are you decent? Hello? Hey, this used to be a picture of both of us. What happened to the me part? I'm working due west of camp and due north of the lighthouse today. It's nicely dried, pre-cut, and ready to go. I think I'll fill up my coat pockets with this bulky firewood. Hi. Hi! I was hoping I'd run into you again. I was hoping that too. What happened at the voodoo shop? Did you get the secret? Not yet, but I'm closer than ever. I just have to gather a few golden keys together and I'm good to go. That sounds promising. What about LeChuck and Captain Madison? They weren't there, oddly enough. Well, be careful. How's your project going? The project has hit a snag. We have plenty of limes, as you can see, but people are refusing to take them. They say they don't like the taste and they don't believe they'll help with scurvy. As an elected official, I could have issued an edict, but as a private citizen, I have to convince people. I tried this flyer. Yeah, I've read part of this. I know, I, I know it's terribly dry, but the facts are there. Have you tried using a different font? Comic Sans, for example. Yes, but I need a small one to fit all the information on. What if the text was centered instead of left justified? Somehow, I don't think that's going to make a lot of difference. I'm not sure what to tell you. It's basically a sales and marketing problem, and neither of us is an expert in either of those things. Uh, I see what you mean. I'll hang on to the flyer. Maybe I can find a sales and marketing expert to look at it. Okay. I hear these can help prevent scurvy. You heard right. Can you spare any limes? You can take a few. Well, like I said, I'm having trouble giving them away. 
Greetings, fellow chum. Guybrush, you've joined the chums. I'm glad. Maybe a new hobby will help you get your mind off the secret. Um, sure. Well, let's hear what you got. The pirate hunter Morgan Lafley had my first mate at Sword Point, and then all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a whale. And then we escaped through the digestive system, ship and all. That's nice, Guybrush, but I think you've left out the most interesting part. What was it like inside the whale? What happened in there? People want to hear about the experience. That makes sense. Want to give it a try? Okay. The pirate hunter Morgan Lafley had my first mate at Sword Point, and then all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a whale. A guy already inside thought I wanted to steal his girlfriend. Morgan Lafley and I said we were married, so I'd seem unavailable. Which you were. Yes, yes, I was. And then we escaped through the digestive system, ship and all. I think you've got it. Well, I think this is really good for you. You should find some other chums to share your gift with. I'll do that. Wow, Elaine sure has been busy. The bird has a torn picture in its nest. Is that a picture of me? Ah! Whoa! Halt, ship. If, if that's what you can call that. I made it myself. It's a source of pride. This is a scurvy inspection point. The law requires that you're carrying limes before I allow you to proceed north. Here, look, I have limes, see? To proceed north, you'll have to fill out a customs declaration form. Name? Mr. Elaine Marley. Fill this out and be completely honest. All right, let's see how you've done. You forgot to check that you're carrying limes. I'll check that for you. Hmm, good answer. Good penmanship. Not checking that was smart. Okay, this looks in order. You may proceed with full approval of the Bermuda Port Authority. It's locked. Maybe I'll come back later. Order! Order in the court! I am going to cite you for contempt of court for not asking permission to approach the bench. I humbly apologize. May I approach the bench, Your Honor? You may approach the bench. Court is now in session. Judge Plank presiding. How do you plead? Innocent. Due to lack of evidence, all charges have been dropped. Order! Order in the court! Quiet on the gallery, or there will be arrests. I have no business with the court, Your Honor. Court is adjourned. May I approach the bench, Your Honor? You may approach the bench. Court is now in session. Judge Plank presiding. Your Honor, do you have to buy your own robes? <laughs> or are they court appointed? Order! Order in the court! If I don't get order, I am going to clear the court! That is all, Your Honor. Court is adjourned!
I submit these official looking documents to the court, seeking a reprieve from destruction. Order! Order in the court! Upon review of said order, the court finds that due to procedural backlog, the listed items have not been destroyed. Except for the fancy box that Brad from accounting took. The legality of the aforementioned document having been presented is verified. Presenting pleadant may therefore take possession of said items. I have no idea what you just said, but thanks for the key. Order! Order in the court! Outbursts of thanks will not be tolerated. Hi. Any chance I could get inside the quarry? Not many try to get in here, just out. What's the purpose of your visit? It's a social call. We do have a visitation policy, but it's quite strict. Who are you here to see? Stan. We do have a Stan. I'm a little surprised he'd have a visitor. Can you prove you know him? I can describe him. Loud jacket. Never stops moving his arms. Or his lips. That does sound like him. But I'm supposed to see some actual physical evidence. Just bring me something that shows you two have ever been in a room together. That way, I can tell my fa... Uh, my boss that I did my job. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? The pirate hunter Morgan Lafley had my first mate at Sword Point. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a whale. A guy already inside thought I wanted to steal his girlfriend. Morgan Lafley and I said we were married, so I'd seem unavailable. And then we escaped through the digestive system. Ship and all. Listen, let me tell you something about anglers. By which you mean people who fish. Right, but if you are one, you'd say angler. I would? Every subculture has its own special language. Words with significance specific to that subculture. When you use them, you convey both meaning and membership. That sounds good. That's why authentic sounding fish stories always have plenty of angler lingo. For example, I wouldn't tell people a big fish broke my string. I'd say, I was jigging with a hard bait when a strike from a lunker snapped my leader. That's both highly specific and difficult to understand. Exactly the point. Want to give it a try? Okay. The pirate hunter Morgan Lafley had my first mate at sword point. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a huge lunker of a whale. A real chum-chomping linebreaker, if ever there was one. A guy already inside thought I wanted to steal his girlfriend. Morgan Lafley and I said we were married, so I'd seem unavailable. And then we escaped, through the digestive system, ship and all. Yeah, that's the way. You almost sound like a real angler. Not a half bad story. You know who you should talk to. There's a crazy old yardarm hanger, Bob something. I think he sails with Captain LeChuck. Apple Bob. Sounds right. Thanks. Roaring fire, melting ice, very hoogly. Welcome, loyal subject.
These matches are specially formulated for freezing temperatures. Disclaimer, will not light underwater. At the end of the plank. My only copy. Please don't touch it. Your Majesty? <laughs> no need to be so formal. This is Bermuda. Your guy brush three foot, aren't you? I'm Odina the Ninth. I know your wife. From when she was governor of Melee? That was before I won my throne, but she does keep her hand in. And both feet. What brings you north of the 19th parallel, Guybrush? Your crown, as a matter of fact. Ha! <laughs> Get in line. Everybody wants the crown. Everybody? The crown of keys is a ceremonial artifact worn by the reigning queen of Bermuda. It was originally fashioned from the house keys of the citizens as a gesture of trust. And or submission? My predecessor as queen is the one who added the golden key. I think it gives a certain pizzazz. Perhaps I would be able to help safeguard that valuable item. I think it's perfectly safe with me. And with the armed guard standing at the foot of the stairs blocking your exit. You may touch the crown if and when you become queen, and not before. Become queen? Interesting. Hypothetically, how exactly would a person become Queen of Bermuda? You have to earn it. Win it. Wrest it from the iron grip of the previous Queen. Most people can't manage that, of course. But by the traditions of Bermuda, all are welcome to try. To become Queen, you must show your qualifications by defeating the current Queen in three contests. The contests Test your heartiness, your seriousness, and your intelligence. I have some of those things. We'll see. And no cheating. We'll see. I challenge you to the contest of intelligence. Come with me. We've got to go downtown. See that triangle? There are three of them here in the building. One for each contest. When you want to formally issue a challenge, you ring the triangle. Dios mio! Another challenge! Welcome, Your Majesty, and Mr. Marley Slash Threepwood to the Contest of Intelligence. In front of each of you is an advanced algebra problem. You are to solve it as completely as you can, and remember to show your work. No peeking, no copying, no swapping papers, and no cheating whatsoever. I will return in 20 seconds to grade your papers. Your time starts now. I don't have the slightest idea how to solve an algebra problem. No copying. No funny business, Buster. Is the fireplace broken or something? No. Time's up. I'll take your papers. Hmm. Hmm? No surprises here. Queen Odina has delivered a clear and correct answer with a step-by-step -step proof. Mr. Threepwood has drawn a series of mustaches on the polynomial. Queen Odina is the winner. Better luck next time. I will return in 20 seconds to grade your papers. Your time starts now. Time's up. 
Time's up. I'll take your papers. Hmm. Hmm? I am most surprised by this, but the evidence is clear. Mr. Threepwood is the winner. But how is that possible? Clean living, regular exercise, and a brain like a mountain. Dense, motionless, and shaped by erosion. You can see the difficulty I'm having. I can. Better luck next time. One contest down, two to go. Today's contest of hardiness will feature Lump Sucker. This is certainly exciting. Uh, hello? Anyone up there patrolling the deck? Ready to kick me into the sea? Sounds like the coast is clear. I hope. Unless it's a trap. You are a disgrace to the pirating profession. I'm more focused on the staying alive profession right now, thanks. So far, so good. So, um, obviously I'm actually Guybrush Threepwood. Pleased to meet you. Again. I assume that's your real skin this time? Yeah. Sorry for tricking you with the other two. Two? Uh, one. Nath's not my best subject. Either way, don't worry about it. You're LeChuck's rival, not mine. I've got better things to worry about. Also, I enjoyed the book you brought me. Where is everybody? Flambe is up in the crow's nest. Odds are he's sleeping. Iron Rose said she was running an errand. The rest went with LeChuck on that other ship. Would that be Captain Madison's ship? I think that's right. Interesting. Hang in there, Bob. Still not funny. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? The pirate hunter Morgan Lafley had my first mate at Sword Point. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a huge lunker of a whale. A real chum chomping line breaker, if ever there was one. A guy already inside thought I wanted to steal his girlfriend. Morgan Lafley and I said we were married, so I'd seem unavailable. And then we escaped through the digestive system, ship and all. You know what? I think your story would really benefit from some colorful description. Like when I hook a fish. I don't just say I hooked a fish. I say there was a majestic fish, glistening like liquid silver, dashing through the waves, stretching my line out like the truth in a schoolboy's mouth. Oh, that does seem a little more gripping. Want to give it a try? Okay. The pirate hunter Morgan Lafley had my first mate at Sword Point. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a titanic alabaster whale with eyes like destiny and skin tattooed by a hundred harpoons. Inside, it was like walking on soft cheese with rivers of pea soup that stank like a landlubber's bait box. One false move, and you'd be wearing Jonah's overcoat, a layer of greasy phlegm as thick as day-old pancake batter. And then we escaped, through the digestive system, ship and all. Dazzling. You weave a story, like a wicker placemat with a mosaic of coffee stains. Is that good? Tightly woven and useful. The coffee stains give it character. You should tell a story at the Cod's Wallop. Hang in there, Bob. Still not funny. A 
Hey, Bob, would you like to read this book? It's about a voyage that never ends. Sounds interesting and long. Here's your joke book back. Hello. Greetings, fellow chum. Mm. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? And don't be nervous thinking it's a test to see whether you've mastered the art. Even though that's just what it is. <gasps> the pirate hunter Morgan Lafley had my first mate at Sword Point. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a titanic alabaster whale with eyes like destiny and skin tattooed by a hundred harpoons. Inside, it was like walking on soft cheese with rivers of pea soup that stank like a landlubber's bait box. One false move and you'd be wearing Jonah's overcoat, a layer of greasy phlegm as thick as day-old pancake batter. And then we escaped through the digestive system, ship and all. That was a whopper of a story. You've clearly learned all there is to learn. I hereby declare you to be a chum mm. grand master. Congratulations. Wow, thank you. That's a great honor. What are these little yellow guys? They're lump suckers. Easy to eat and great for sucking out cysts and boils. I'd like to buy some lump suckers. Cute little fellas, aren't they? Here's a box full. Should be plenty. You want me to run a tab for you? Sure. Thanks. Is it all right if I take this flag with me? That would be within your rights as a well-respected chum of the highest order. Seriously? Sure to treat it nice. It doesn't need more holes than it's got already. They were all in on it, but Threepwood was the ringleader. First he's banging me and the other skulls around with a femur, forcing us to sing musical notes against our will. Then he's shouting nonsense like a drunk parrot and he takes a bite out of a squid's arm. Right after that, that's when the earthquake started. Still, it could be a coincidence. You find a shark in your swimming pool, that's not a coincidence. I'll make this quick. I don't know when LeChuck's coming back. These groves go on forever. That ought to give it some zip.
This is torn from a portrait of Elaine and me. Hello. I'd like to get a new box of lump suckers. I'll put it on your tab. Thanks. That ought to give it some zip. Ladies and gentlemen, although your appetite for this nauseating affair never ceases to amaze me, it is my solemn duty to adjudicate this, the contest of heartiness. <laughs> As you are all thoroughly aware, the objective is to successfully and permanently consume more raw fish than your opponent. Today's challenge fish is Lump Sucker. In the defender's chair, the cast iron stomach of Odina the Ninth, reigning Queen of Bermuda, and undisputed heartiness champion. And in the challenger's chair, all the way from the Southern Caribbean, still in possession of nearly all of his original teeth, the newcomer, Guybrush Threepwood, AKA Mr. Elaine Marley. If you would each now select your first fish and place it on the plate in front of you. Ooh. Ooh. And now, let the eating commence. Two bites? That's more than she ate, right? I can stop now? Uh, yes, you can stop uh, if you like. Ladies and gentlemen, your new champion of heartiness with two bites to the Queen's Wad is Mr. Threepwood! <laughs> Only one more contest to go. Ladies and gentlemen, for your viewing pleasure, we present, for only the 11th time this week, the Contest of Seriousness. Yip -yip. Oh. Yay. Yay. Yip -yip. On this side, the reigning queen, Odina the Ninth of Bermuda. And on this side, the challenger, Mr. Elaine Marley, a.k.a. Guybrush Threepwood, currently unemployed and of no fixed address. If you will all come to order, the contest will begin. The first contestant to laugh is the loser. Have you heard the one about the guy who put an ice cube on a scurvy dog? He said it was chilly. Is that the best you've got? Why do demons have horns on their heads? Because they're too uncomfortable under the arms. <laughs> 
<laughs> I've never heard that one before. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner is Guybrush Threepwood. Where did you get that book? I'm uh, confiscating this. Citizens of Bermuda, Mr. Elaine Marley, a.k.a. Guy Bruce Threepwood, has somehow successfully bested our beloved Queen Odina at all three of our traditional challenges. We are gathered to complete an orderly and peaceful transfer of power. Should I sit on the throne or something? There are some customary vows. Vows? Nobody mentioned any vowing. Will you faithfully uphold the honor and dignity of Bermuda in your every thought and deed? Sure. And will you promise to enforce and obey the laws of Bermuda? Of course. Do you swear to defend and protect the people of Bermuda, sacrificing your own life or limbs if necessary? That. Okay, I guess so. And will you gracefully accept all challenges to your hardiness, your seriousness, and your intelligence? No problem. Very well. Citizens of Bermuda, your new queen, Guybrush Threepwood. Congratulations. If you want my advice, I... Give me the crown already. I hope you like spending all your time doing the three challenges. Because that's basically what your job is now. I have to write my memoirs. <gasps> oh! <sighs> um... As your queen... I want to tell you that we're all queens in our own special way. That's why I've symbolically destroyed the crown. Why don't you all take a key? You get a key. And you get one. And you! Now if you'll excuse me, I've got places to be. Report! Alive? How is that possible? Someone saw him talking to an old crone on Low Street. I confirmed it myself. I'm more concerned about the crone than Threepwood. Who is she? Just some old bag of bones. Don't worry about her. I took care of her. Excellent. She did have a key on her. A big, fancy gold one. Do you want it? No, no. We don't need the keys. We have a better way. Just put it where Threepwood won't get it. Like where? I don't care! Use your imagination! Yes, Captain. Now, I have another task for you. You'll need to pick up a few things from our ship on the way. I'd like to visit my close friend Stan, please. Like I told you, I need to see some hard evidence that you've ever been within two feet of each other. What do you think of this picture of me and my extremely dear friend Stan together? We had it painted at our local muskrat club meeting. You look real close. All right, you can go in and see him, but no escapes. I wouldn't dream of it. You don't want to be right there when I open the gate. Go stand next to his stump. All clear. Hey, Stan. 
Hi there, son. Nice to see you. What are you in for? Nothing. I came to see you. Always a good idea, son. When you need something, come see Stan. And you've picked a good time because I have seen the future. I want you to consider these two words. Ice. Sculpture. Separately, they're exciting. Strength. Stan, not today. Don't wait too long. They're selling like hotcakes. How about I bust you out of here? Yeah, this place seems a little harsher than the jail on Melee. I might or might not know a competent locksmith who could take care of those shackles. Oh no, son, I can't escape. Wouldn't be wise. I'm only in for a month, after all. Got a copy of the judge's order right here. Yeah, I sure did get off light. Lucky for me they never caught on to my pyramid scheme or I'd probably be doing 10 years. I think I'll poke around a little. You enjoy yourself, son. Elaine and I could use some marketing advice. The Marley Foundation is trying to combat scurvy by distributing limes, but no one's willing to take them. I feel your pain, son. I had a similar problem selling life preservers in the farming community. Sometimes people don't know what they want even when they want it. You got any promotional materials? Elaine made this pamphlet. Hmm. Mm hmm. I see the problem. It's wrong from top to bottom. You couldn't sell water to fish with this blather. It's a little dry. Well, it's got facts in it. Worse than that, scientific facts. I'll need to meet with her to iron this out. Can't you just tell me what to do and I'll tell her? No, no, that won't do. Things get lost in translation. A whinny isn't a whinny if it doesn't come out of a horse's mouth. No shade on you, son, but you're not a pro. You wouldn't be able to convey the nuance that's needed here. She and I have got to have a meeting of the minds, and minds have got to meet face to face. I'll let her know. I think I'll poke around a little. You enjoy yourself, son. I can read the serial number. I'll copy it down. It looks like a secret escape tunnel. Hi. Hey, boy. Got a warning for you. A warning? You're in danger. A stocky little ghost lady found me out. She came here and roughed me up. Took away my golden key. Oh, no. Uh, any idea where she might have taken it? Don't know. Can't afford to care. I know when I'm beat. I'm giving up on the secret. You ought to get out, too. Thanks for the warning. Are you okay? Only my spirit is crushed. Rest of me will heal. I've got two golden keys. Good for you. But you be careful. See you around, Whitey. Most likely. Hi. Hi. You wouldn't happen to have a mop, would you? Not anymore. I see. No problem. I don't actually need one. 
I was just curious. Could you come to the ice quarry on Bermuda to talk with Stan about your pamphlet? Oh, no. I couldn't possibly go there. Bad optics. He'll have to come here. It's a prison, though. Him not leaving is sort of the main idea. How long till he's out? A month. That's not so bad. How come the picture of us on your desk was torn in half? Ah, yes. Sorry you saw that. There was an incident with a... seagull. It flew away with you into the lime groves. I looked, but I couldn't find you. I see. Love you. You too. I could see you! How did you find me? I just sailed up and here you were. Who are you? I'm Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. Are you alone? At the moment. Thank goodness! I'm Ned Filigree, Accountant. I don't mean to be rude, it's just that I'm in hiding. Who is it you're afraid of? Well, have you heard of Stan S. Stanman? The name sounds familiar. Thank goodness they locked him away on Bermuda. He'll be chipping ice in the quarry for a long, long time. I can't help but be nervous, but actually, I guess I've got decades before I really have to worry about it. How come you're afraid of Stan? He's always struck me as pretty harmless. Except economically. Sure, but you never can tell what someone like Stan will do. He's got no moral center. Like I said, I'm glad he's safely stuck in the Bermuda quarry for a good long time. You must be good at math. I'm a creative accountant. Math doesn't really enter into it. You any good? Don't judge me by where I live. I've just had a few setbacks. It's all I can afford right now, but it's temporary. I'm gonna explore the island a little bit. Holler if you find anything interesting. Easy, Ned. He's not coming. But I think you might be interested in this judicial order in the case against Stan S. Stanman. Ah! What's this? Only a month? Oh no! Take these records! Get them to the courthouse on Bermuda! They'll know what to do with them! It's very damaging stuff. Stan will get ten years at a minimum. I'd take care of it myself, but I've got to pack for witness protection. Oh goodness! There is a lot of junk in here, but I think I see the evidence that will lock Stan up for a long, long time. Looks like Ned had a valid accounting license on 26 islands, including the District of Columbia. I'm no expert, but this stuff looks as shady as an oak tree in a cave. This should be enough evidence to lock Stan up for a very long time. It's a sculpture of yours truly. My jawline has never looked so chiseled. Your Honor, I submit these highly prejudicial and incriminating financial documents as Exhibit A in Everyone v. Stan. The evidence is so entered. Hmm. The court requires that net filigree swear an affidavit if said evidence is to be accepted. Counsel for the aggrieved withdraws the damning exhibit, but reserves the right to resubmit at a later date. Court is adjourned! This should clear up any issues about who I am. Do you hereby swear under oath and penalty of incarceration that you are Ned Filigree and the documents you are submitting are true and legal? Damn straight. 
Order. Order in the court. There will be no more outburst of profanity in this courtroom. In light of this new evidence, I hereby sentence Stan to ten years of hard labor in the ice quarry with no chance of parole. Please retain these legally binding documents for your records. What's up, Stan the Man? Uh, I have some disturbing news about your sentence. Ten years? Oh no, I can do a month standing on my head, but not ten years. You gotta get me out of here. Consider it done. Hi there. Hiya. Can you make me a key from this serial number? Sure. A shackle key, eh? Special extreme cold hardened version. They don't even make these shackles anymore. I guess you've had them a while? Oh, yeah. They've been in my family for generations. What's up, Stan the Man? Ah, freedom. Now let's get out of here before they come by to refrost the shackles. Yes, I want to take you to talk to Elaine about the lines. There's a handy tunnel over there where Chisel Pete escaped a few days ago. I'm so glad you could come, Mr. Stanman. Always happy to help out a fellow entrepreneur in a non-competing industry. We'll start with branding. Lime is the residue in a bathtub. It's thin, it's unappealing. Saying it out loud sounds like whining. We need something with sizzle, with edge, like razor bombs or sour bombs or something. I see what you mean. Guybrush, you were once a young man with adrenaline issues. What do you think? Death Globes. I like it, I like it. You've got a future, son. Your promo flyer has also got to go. Now let me just show you what I'm thinking. We want snake oil, crystal vibrations. The more miraculous and improbable it sounds, the better. I'm not sure I'm comfortable with lying. Then we won't put it into words. We'll use a picture. Pictures don't lie, they imply. Guybrush, if Death Globes could do anything in the world for you, what would you want it to be? Find the secret of Monkey Island? Guybrush! That's good, but I'm thinking more along the lines of a superpower. Lime? Great! Let's go with that! No one's going to believe that limes can make you fly. Not literally, but in their hearts they will. Now, lastly, we need a call to action. Get cold, or go dark, or take that! Those don't mean anything. Don't need to. It's just a short, punchy slogan that sounds like you're supposed to do something right now. Hmm. Bite these. Almost too meaningful, but I think we can work with it. This is your new flyer.
Show people this, and they'll be begging for your product. Name your price, firstborn, anything. Actually, we'll be giving them away. This is a public health initiative. What? Well, now that's just crazy talk. You don't give away the prize bull just because people need bulls, if you follow me. I'm definitely sensing some bull here, if you follow me. Well, it's about time to close anyway. You can mail me my cut. I'm out of here. Don't follow me. Your cut? Now, wait just a minute. I'll just borrow this for a little while. Ahoy! Ahoy! Permission to come aboard. Afraid we can't let you do that. Permission to come aboard, sir. This isn't a protocol issue. Although we do enjoy a good protocol. Are you going to let me talk? Apparently, that's what you enjoy doing. There's been a deadly scurvy outbreak on the ship. We're under strict quarantine, so we don't infect others with this deadly pathogen. I don't think scurvy is contagious. You don't know that. My mom's gardener's second cousin's pastry chef says it is. It's a scientific fact. Oh, don't try to snow us with your science quackery. If scurvy wasn't contagious, then only one person would have it. <laughs> Duh. Where'd you get that cool flag with all the holes? It looks familiar. We found it floating in the ocean. It's one of Bella Fisher's flags. She probably lost it when her ship went down. We're afraid to take it down and offend the scurvy gods. <sighs> there is no such thing as the scurvy gods. Well, then why is there scurvy? Answer me that! I have some exciting scurvy news for you. Read this. Death Globes! A new amazing miracle fruit. Uh, regrows hair, removes belly fat, ho oh, oh, ho, also cures scurvy. Fantastic! Have you got any of these miracle death globes? Sure thing, right here. These little green guys. You're sure there's no science in them? Check the flyer. You won't find a whiff of science. We're saved! Bite these and welcome aboard. The holes of the three flags line up and show one exact location. I'll mark it with an X. Watch out below. Are we lying in wait or just? This is really deep. I've already been diving for four minutes. I've got to turn back now, or I won't be able to hold my breath long enough to return to the surface. I'm not even mortal, and I'm feeling the minutes tick away. This is really deep. I've already been diving for four minutes. I've got to turn back now, or I won't be able to hold my breath long enough to return to the surface. My lungs are full of delicious air again.
Looks like I've tracked you down. Really far down, actually. It's not my fault. They shouldn't have stuck the key in there so hard. So, the Swabi says, the map or the bucket? <laughs> there are so many other things I could be doing right now. Why is that spell taking so long? Relax. Lila knows what she's doing. My mother always used to say, good pizza takes time. That's idiotic. Are you insulting me or me mama? Yes. Now this seems worthwhile. have some chicken feet. This must be Whitey's stolen key. Did I ask you to give the prisoner a drink of water? No, Captain. You did not. I was acting on my own initiative. When I want initiative, I'll ask for it. Of course, sir. I need you to be a team player. And right now, the team is focused on one thing. The secret. Uh, yes, sir. What? What is it? Out with it! Well, it's just that some of the crew have been talking. Tell me already! The feeling is that the secret is not really a team goal. It's been suggested that you think that securing the secret will help you to win over Elaine Marley, which, well, frankly, sounds kind of deluded. It's not realistic, sir. You are not to mention Elaine in my presence, and do not presume to know what I am thinking. Sorry, Captain. This will be the last time I bring it up. Yes, it will be. I'm sure I'm a more skilled survivalist and have nothing to worry about. I'll just keep telling myself that. It's not one of the golden keys, but any key is a good key in my book. Ugh, looks like he had the wrong person watching his back. What really bothers me is, why do these pirates look familiar? I'm not sure I want to know what happened here. I'll be fine as long as I don't lose my wits and keep my head. Looks like another greedy pirate who met a sordid fate. Yeah, this place gives me the creeps.
it says X, Y, Z, Z, Y. I've had it with locks. I'm not walking any farther. It's way too dark. Okay, it's lit. It says, warning. You are about to enter a maze of twisty passages, mostly very similar. Looks like someone forgot to pick up their trash. Y Z Z Y. Wow, neat! It's magic. X, Y, Z, Z, Y. It said... Y, Z, Z, Y. Okay, here goes. Oh no, the lamp is going out. I should have seen that coming. Water, fire. Help! X, Y, Z, Z, Y. That was a close one. I'll have to remember that fire doesn't burn underwater.
sure you won't mind if I borrow some demon fire. It looks really deep. Okay, here goes. Looking at these ribs is making me hungry. It says, warning, it's a long way Toothrot? I think so. It's been a while. How have you been? Meh. Are you freaked out by all the weird screaming in the caves? Oh, that's me. Just a little light entertainment and well-being work. Primal screaming is very therapeutic. Uh, try it. Ah. Whew, you're right. Yeah, that feels good. Have you been in this cave very long? Well, not in geologic terms. As a percentage of the total number of years of existence of the cave itself, it would be a small number. On a human scale, however, yes! It all depends on your perspective. I'm looking for a golden key. Sounds like something I might have read in a book once. Are you a fictional character? Not that I'm aware of. How does a person get out of this place? Typically, you don't. I think I'll have a look around. I'll be here when you finish the grand tour. It's a golden key. No touching! You were hunting for the keys too. That's how you got stuck here. Is it? I suppose that would make sense. That's a golden key. Maybe it's mine. Let's make a deal for the key. I'm pretty sure I wanted it for a reason, but a decade or so in a dark cave can do funny things to your memory. So get me out of here and then I'll let you have the key. If you let me have the key, then I'll get you out of the cave. That sounds good. As long as it's escape first key afterward. It needs to be key first, then escape. It needs to be escape first, then key. Just give me the key already. No! Give me the key! No! I need it! <laughs> Oops. I'm eager to see how you're gonna get us out of here now. That's the last key. Voodoo Shop, here I come. XYZZY. Well, that wasn't so hard. What happened to Mr. Toothrot? When? Did you get him out of the cave? How'd you do it? That's not part of this story. Oh, okay. Reapwood has all the keys! That's right, Captain. Just recovered the last one. 
Prepare to set sail for Melee Island immediately. What about my spell? It's almost ready. I'm sure I'll find some use for it later. I'm afraid I can say the same for you, however. Ah, you're betraying me? I'm the one who does that. But I do respect talent in other people. Easier than I imagined, but still beautiful. Okay. Hmm. I wasn't really thinking about the possibility of yet another lock. This seems like overkill. Now there's no serial number. Maybe I can break it open. This is not a problem. I choose to see it as a puzzle. Three points! Ah. LeChuck, my old nemesis. Here we are again. Looks like this story ends the way it was always destined to end. With just you and me and the secret. Not quite. I don't suppose it'll do me any good to point out that you're cheating again? I've underestimated your resourcefulness, Threepward. But force always wins in the end. You should try it sometime. Good luck opening that. It's well made. I tried everything I could think of for a whole minute, and I didn't make a dent in it. Of course not. The secret can only be revealed in a ceremonial chamber located deep within the bowels of Monkey Island. That would have been nice to know ahead of time. It pleases me to have you live with the knowledge of how close you were to having this before I took it from you. So, I've decided not to kill you right this minute. Outside that door, the deal is off. Don't even think about following me, and count to a hundred before you leave the building. A hundred. Guybrush! Whiteybone said she saw you come in. Are you alright? No. I mean, yes, I'm fine. Do you want to talk about it? The truck has the secret, and he's headed for the bowels of Monkey Island. The caverns underneath the big monkey head? There's no time to lose. Let's talk on the way. That did seem like a better way to get here than making the potion. I'll definitely have to take notes next time. Yes, I just hope it turns out to be worth all the effort. Whatever. That was easy. I'm not talking about the trip over. I mean all the work you've done leading up to it. Not to mention the trail of destruction you've left in your wake. You know what they say about omelettes and eggs. Well, I haven't seen the omelette yet. Just a lot of eggs. The omelette is the secret of Monkey Island. And I don't know that I'd say lots of eggs. 
few eggs. Odina told me an exciting story about what happened on Bermuda. Apparently, you managed to destroy a priceless traditional artifact and the government of an entire island in five minutes flat. That's quite impressive. Even for you. It took way more than five minutes. I had to win a bunch of contests first. Yes, Odina told me your joke. Uncomfortable under the arms. Quite funny. Odina also thinks you cheated on your algebra test and tried to poison her. It's the contest of intelligence, not the contest of algebra. I proved my intelligence by cheating successfully. You are very clever. Incidentally, I think you might also be royalty now, since you're married to me. I thought something felt different this morning. But I was talking about breaking eggs. Did you know the Museum of Pirate Law has shut down? You don't say. Two of its prize exhibits went missing. Curiously, there was only one name in the guest book. Yeah, it wasn't a very good museum anyway. The guy doesn't get his facts right. Conrad Lee is a nice young man who tries hard. But he'll land on his feet. I hear he's going to open a training school for attack parrots. Well, I hope he doesn't hold a grudge. Herman Toothrot is also a little upset with you. He says you took his key and left him in a dark cave. The magic sign only works with one person, and I didn't have any way to know that in advance. Well, you'll be happy to know he made it out. I rescued him myself. I am happy to know that. Thanks. Remind me why we're talking about all this? It's just, I'm worried that the secret can't possibly measure up to the effort and anticipation. What exactly are you expecting to find? It doesn't matter. It's just the finding part that counts. Well... Be careful what you wish for. Here we go. Just like old times. Are you ready for the caverns? I remember them. Full of lava and tiny ledges. It's a good thing you're wearing your adventure boots. <laughs> Hope you also brought your adventure sword. Well, well. You go on ahead, sweetie. I'll catch up. Hey, Wally. How's it hanging? Seriously, that's the joke you were going to use right now? Eh, I'm trying out some new material. Don't quit your day job. Wally, what happened? As if you don't know. Thanks for the C-Map. That was really great, and I owe you for all the work you did for free. Glad you liked it. Yeah, I'd love to stay and chat, but I've got to get the secret before LeChuck does. Sure. Run off. Wally will be fine. Bombay, you're awake. Not for long. I'm just here to tell you that you are making a mistake. The Chuck's obsession consumes him like a frog swallowing a tarantula. You don't want to be there when he opens that chest. Correct. I want to be there before he opens it. Ugh, you two deserve each other. Yeah, that's right. Run! I can't really see down there too well. There's a lot of lava. Okay, here goes. Phew. LeChuck, I'm coming for you! Damn you, Threepwood! I should have gotten rid of you the first 58 times I had the chance. You will never make it down here alive. Just once I want this to be easy. Only the organized pirate will pass. 
It looks proud to be a monkey. It looks like a piece of eight, but made of stone. I'm naming it Captain Squint. It's holding a monocle. LeChuck, the secret will never be yours. I hate solving puzzles more than I hate Streepwood! The secret will never be yours! Ah! Threepwood! Won't you ever give up and just go home? Once is a coincidence, twice is suspicious. Only the observant pirate will pass. Those epaulets deserve a room of their own. Those epaulets deserve a room of their own. LeChuck, the secret is mine! You really do suck at puzzles, don't you? How are you still alive? You will never have the secret. I will soon have my revenge. Then you will forever be cursed. And you will never escape. You will vanish with no tails. No, I will return. The secret is mine. Third time to be a charm, the three weed. Next time, I keep my voice down. Only the bloodthirsty pirate will pass. It looks like its arm is hurt. It's leaking some kind of oil all over the floor now. This is gonna be a problem.
There's no way I'm getting through there. those mystery stories where the person has so many enemies the detectives don't know where to start. escape routes. One of the stone slabs from the altar seems to have fallen off during the rumbling. There's some writing on it. After four extra years out at sea, their peg legs grew weak in the knees. Three steps right, but two left, till they fell off the deck and they met Davy Jones for some tea. After all I've been through, Finding some limericks on a piece of stone sinking into the lava isn't all that strange. just deep in the mushroom and lava ridden caves under Monkey Island, and now I'm... Oh no. Not yet. Score! Free popcorn! Score! Free popcorn! High Street, 20 feet. Hall of Pirates, 3 minute walk. Additional restrooms at Dinky Island. Glad you finally made it, kid. What, Stan? It's closing time and everyone wants to go home. Last chance to hand over the key, locksmith. What do you mean it's closing time? I just got here. No, oh, I don't have time for this. I'm late for an important meeting. Take my keys and shut off all the lights before you leave. I'm not liable for anything that happens after closing time. Guybrush, are you ready to go? Last chance to hand over the key, locksmith. Dang, Stan makes LeChuck better every time. The secret is mine. Well, back to my boring flooring inspector job. Until next time. That was disappointingly easy. I wonder what's going on. Heck, Nabbit, it's locked. If only there was a key. Interesting. I found the secret of Monkey Island, and all it was was this stupid t-shirt. Goodness, you're here. Of course. Where else would I be? I'm not sure where I am all of a sudden. You're right here with me. 
but we shouldn't stick around too long. I was just underground on Monkey Island, and now we're on Melee? Things just go by in a blur sometimes when you're having fun, don't they? I got the secret! You finally did it! I hope it was worth it. I'm gonna have to think about that. I'm gonna look around some more. How'd it go with Flair? Let's just say I made my point. I'm ready to go. Good. Me too. Dad, that was a silly ending, and it didn't even make any sense. You're terrible at endings. I thought you liked silly endings. You and Chucky play the ending of Monkey Island 2 really silly. That's different. We're kids, and we're just goofing around. You're the one who said you can't just change things. You said that's not how storytelling works. I did? I want to know the secret. You have to tell me what you really found in the chest. The secret was really the friends we made along the way. Stories are mainly the middle part, after all. And that's where most of the good stuff is. That sounds like one of those stupid grown-up answers. Mom! Dad won't tell me what the secret is! Are you filling our son's head with your outlandish stories again? I was telling him the one about how we found the secret of Monkey Island. <laughs> oh, that one! <laughs> Every time you tell that story, the ending gets stranger and stranger. Let's go down to the docks and watch the galleon head out. Yay! I found the lost map to the treasure of Maya Island. It's going to be a fun adventure. I'll meet you down there.